And this radio uses two 6V6 valves, so we've dragged out the I177 uh, trusty valve tester, which is a mutual conductance tester and a lot better than the cheap one we were using the other week on the Heath kit. So here we are setting up, or Mr. Chippy setting up the uh, I177 valve tester. And like any other valve tester, you have the data book, which is, I'll just zoom in and show you. And it says 6v6. What are, you, what are your things, Mr. C? Between your nose blows. I hope he hasn't got this Chinese virus. <coughs> what, what do you need to know? 6v6. What are the parameters? What, are, what do we set up, up and where do we put it? Well, socket E. Socket E. And then it's A is 8, B is 5, filament 6.3 volts. The. Uh, what are they? It's AMPL is test, isn't it? On this, it just says potent L and R, so I don't know. Okay, I've set the numbers That's right. So, if you'd like to put the set first valve in, we've also discovered these are military 6v6s with a CV number on them. So, do you want to pop the first one of those in, Mr. C? Yeah, if these are a bit low, I'll just replace all the valves for brand new, and then uh, we've got the job cracked. Because you don't know how many hours this thing's done uh, in its previous life in a taxi base or whatever it was used for. Or even a farm. No, it's not dirty enough for a farm. But then it's not smoked enough to be a taxi, so I don't know what it's been. Uh, right, so we've got about 30 seconds. Out, and normally it's the AMPL button. Does it say anything? Uh, no, it doesn't say anything. About it. Okay. AMPL. AMPL. Yeah, all right. Since I've not used this before. No, nope. what is that? And that says jolly good, doesn't it? Yeah, it should be 3,000 now. And what does it say? 2, 2, 5. Yeah, it? right, so although it reads good, it tells you it should be 3,000. So it should so, be right at the end of the scale. Yeah, so it's actually um, it's actually low, isn't it? Mm. So that's uh, one. So if you want to pop that one out, we'll try the next one. So moving on to the second valve now. Let's just pop that one in. And we'll wait about 30 seconds. I'll edit this and we'll press. You can press the AMPL button, you can see it rising. Yeah, it's not low, it's 2000. It's, yeah, so they're both low. And th th these have been on now for two hours in the radio, so we've only we've only turned it off to take the valves out and pop them into the tester. So, although on the on a good bad thing they, they read good, when you actually read the manual, it says it needs to be above a, a reading of 3000 or th around 3000. And they're not, 2,000, so that one's worse than the other. So that is exactly what we were thinking. Valves are tired. They might be all right in a record player amplifier. <laughs> Just be a bit quieter. So I think that concludes the test and we'll go back to the radio.